Hello guys, welcome to our new video uh, and this was the most demanded session as uh, the session is going to be on TCS Digital and we are going to discuss each and everything about TCS Digital's hiring process and today we have with us Mr. Manoj Babu who is going to share his experience as he has been placed at TCS Digital with a package of 7.5 LPA. So welcome Manoj, uh, first of all congratulations uh, from the whole team of Talent Pattern on getting things with uh, such a big package and digital profile as well. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. So let us start, Manoj, uh, as your uh, as the audience is eager to know about what is all going to happen in this year, sir, with them. And so hopefully you will share your thoughts with us. So first of all, the first question is, was it an on-campus or off-campus drive? It was an on-campus drive and TCS will conduct this drive only for the TCS priority colleges present in the our India, in our country. Okay. There will be around 100 priority colleges in India. For these colleges, TCS will conduct the drive. Okay. So as your college lies under the TCS premium institutes, so you registered it uh, with the college provided link, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. So what was the first step after uh, registering? Like, uh, how was the TCS? Like, uh, uh, while registering, you mentioned that you want the digital profile as TCS offers two profile digital and ninja. So what was uh, the whole uh, uh, the registration process basically? So we have to first, we have to register in the TCS next step portal by providing all our details. Then we will get a test link for attempting a test. Basing on the test score only will be offered either ninja role or digital role. But there is no chance to select on our side from where applying for ninja role or you're applying for digital role. Like it cannot possible. It is only based on the test score they will decide whether to offer the ninja role or the digital role and also performance in the interview. Okay, so it's uh, it's fully based on uh, how it it's fully based on how company decides. Right? Yes, company decides. Okay, so okay, so next question is like uh, how it all started uh, as you explained. So uh, how many rounds were there during your digital profile? A digital profile has only two rounds. One is that uh, audit and test, and second round is an interview. But in the interview, we have three panelists, technical member, HR member, and the managerial person. Okay, just two rounds, one with the online assessment and yeah. one is the interview. Yes, one, just two rounds. Okay, so starting with the first round, that was an online assessment. Uh, so we shall deep dive into the online assessment now. How many sections were there? First of yes, in the online section, we have three rounds. One is verbal, second one is quantitability, and third one is advanced recording. Okay. And uh, now let us uh, move ahead with uh, each and every section. So what was the first uh, section? What was asked in the first Yeah, first section, section is about the verbal ability, verbal questions. Okay. Like uh, they will give some paragraph and you have, they will ask a question and we have to uh, find the answer for that question from the paragraph. And they will ask some antonyms, synonyms, prepositions, everything related to the English and vocabulary. Okay. So uh, was it uh, in the MCQ format or some different format? It has an MCQ format. Total of 15 questions will be asked in that session and we'll get only 15 minutes time. Okay, one minute for the one particular question. Yeah, one minute for one question. And if you skip, if you move on to the next question, there is no chance to come back to the back, to come back to the previous question. Okay, uh, there was a question to question timing going on or it was a uh, sectional based timing? Yeah, no, it was section based timing. Okay, okay. So uh, 15 minutes was offered for the first uh, verbal section. Yes. Okay. And also we have to remember one point, it has a section wise cutoff. Okay. To qualify in the test, there is a separate cutoff for each and every section. Though we meet overall criteria, but we have to meet the section wise cutoff also to be qualified in the written test. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, it is just uh, checking randomly like uh, once you finish with the verbal, you get to the next section only when you clear the verbal test, right? Yeah, no, no, we have to attempt all the sessions, but when, while selecting the finalists, they will select uh, only those candidates who has reached the cutoff in all the sessions. Okay, okay, okay. So moving ahead, ahead uh, to the second section, uh, what was it and how many questions yeah, it were was there? It was quantitative ability. There will be 25 questions in that section and 30 minutes time will be given. Okay, 25 questions and uh, 30 minutes to solve that. Yeah, it includes and all the topics like uh, percentages, uh, data interpretation, 
HCF and LCM or all quantitative topics they will cover. Okay, okay. So, so yeah, okay. these are the talks. Moving ahead uh, to the third section, what was it? It was advanced coding session. Okay. And uh, what was all asked in this test? In advanced question, question in, in advanced section, we have two coding questions. One is a medium level, and the other one is a difficult question. We have to answer those two coding questions. Okay, two coding questions are asked, and yes, the timing given for the for this section. Fifty minutes. Fifteen minutes. Only fifty. Okay, fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. Five 50. zero. Fifty minutes. Oh, okay, okay, fifty minutes. And uh, now in this section, there was question based timing or not? Yeah, no question based time. You can uh, switch between any question and. Uh, Within that 50 minutes, we have to answer those two coding questions. Okay, okay. And what was the coding questions based on which topics? The coding questions are generally based on arrays, mathematical foundation, and some members may go to trees and uh, graphs. Okay, okay. And what was it? Most basically, most basically, they were based on arrays only. Okay, okay. And what was the difficulty level uh, for the coding questions? One coding question will be at a medium level, and second coding question will be at the difficult level. Okay, okay. So moving ahead now, like discussing about the overall summarizing the online assessment round. Uh, any important uh, tips and tricks you want to share with us uh, for cracking the first online assessment? Yeah, first we have to keep in a keep in a mind that uh, for every section cutoff is important, and we have to perform very well in every section. Uh, though you have performed very well in overall the test, there may be uh, no chances of selecting because section-wise cutoff is required. That means you have to qualify in verbal section and aptitude session and also in coding session, which means all three sections are very important for us. And coming to the verbal session, it, it, generally it is not possible to answer the passage question reading complete. And there will be only one question for that passage. In one minute, it is not possible. So we have to be cautious and we have to be very quick at reading skills. Our reading skills should be very high to answer those questions. Okay. And was the whole test time efficient? So these are the two tips from my side, sir. Okay. For verbal ability, it is not sufficient. For quantitative ability and coding, it will be sufficient. Time will be sufficient. Okay. And what was the overall difficulty level of the test? Yeah, overall difficulty of the test was medium. Medium. Okay. Medium level difficulty. Okay. And uh, was there any negative marking as well, or uh, there was no negative marking? Yeah, there was no negative mark. Okay. So nice, uh, nice to know about the first online assessment. So moving ahead, after how many days did you got it, uh, results that you have cleared the online assessment? Uh, after twenty days, I got we got a mail from our TPO with a selected list. We okay. not re get receive any information from the TCS officially. Our TPO has shared the list. These okay. are the call five students okay. and uh, before actually attending the interview were you told that you have to sit for the digital round and you are like uh, to the students and like this much students have been shortlisted for the ninja profile and all yeah, no, were all it was only through. based on the it was based on the performance of an interview okay okay it was uh, based on the interview performance okay yeah so moving ahead after how many days uh, uh, like uh, mm -hmm. did you know your interview was conducted Interview was conducted uh, after we received, we received our results after 15 days of the completion of exam. And the interview was conducted after 10 days okay. of getting the results. Okay, 10 days after getting it. Nearby so, a month, after a month. Yeah, after uh, a month, we can expect our interviews. Okay, okay. So, um, uh, like you mentioned, there was only a single round of interview. So, maybe uh, we want yes. to know about what was the duration of that uh, interview. The interview was held for 45 minutes. Okay. And all the three panelists were there, technical, managerial, and HR. Yes, three panelists were present. Okay. So what was the questions asked to you? One by one, we want to know about like talking about the first the technical yeah. uh, technical questions that were put on. Yeah, technical questions were completely based on the resume that we have submitted to the TCS. And uh, in my resume, I have uh, informed them that I know the machine learning technology. This, so they have asked all the questions based on only machine learning. Okay, okay. Uh, so any questions you remember? 
Yeah, they asked me what is meant by machine learning. How many types of machine learning are there? Can you explain the difference between classification algorithms and regression algorithms? Some examples of classification algorithms and some examples of regression algorithms. Okay. And did he ask you to write some code as well, like to present your screen? Yeah, no, did not. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. But they asked some questions about Python programming language. Okay. Uh, did he also go through your resume part, like the projects that you were carrying? Were there any questions to learn from your projects? Not technical person, manager person has asked her some questions about the project or the technologies we have used in our project okay. and how your project is useful for the real life or day to day activities. Is it using anywhere? Okay. Like these questions they have asked. Okay. For the technical, uh, they just asked you about Python and machine learning. Yeah, it's just Python and machine learning. Okay. Yes, these and two technologies only I was mentioning the resume, they asked about. Okay. And were you able to answer all the technical questions? No, I was not able to answer to a couple of questions. Okay. I agreed that I did not know. I will go through each. Instead of okay. saying any wrong answers, uh, I agreed genuinely that I did not know the answer for those questions. Okay, okay. So moving ahead to the managerial round, uh, what type of questions were there in the managerial round? Yeah, the, first, the first question asked was, what did you spend how did you utilize the time of COVID to improve our knowledge or to improve our skills? Okay. That was the first question they asked. And second, they asked me to explain the certifications that we have done. Okay, that you had and mentioned next, in your resume. That, you have, uh, yes, that I have mentioned in my resume. And they asked me to explain about those certifications, how long you have taken to complete it, and how many hours per day you have spent on doing the certifications. And next, they have asked me the questions related to the projects. Okay. So any, uh, any different type of question that was put on, like you were not expecting that question and the question was put on to you. Yeah, I know. So questions are fairly simple. Okay. Okay. Fairly simple questions were asked. Yes. Okay. And now moving further to the HR, uh, what did uh, they ask you about? Yeah, in HR, they, they asked me whether you are, you are willing to relocate or not whether you are agreed to sign an agreement, a service agreement with the company or not, okay. and what are your strengths and weaknesses and what are your hobbies. Okay. So and uh, HR will cross check our CGPA, our intermediate and uh, our SSC percentage that I mentioned in uh, resume are right or they ask us to repeat those percentages. Okay. Okay. They asked you to dictate basically or to show your credentials to them. To declare orally. Okay, dictator. They asked okay. us to repeat. Okay. So uh, now summarizing the interview part, uh, how do you think that uh, interview or uh, the whole interview went uh, considering about all the three modules that was yeah, so for, uh, okay. yeah, for getting the digital interview and digital profile, we must have a knowledge about of one cutting edge technology. Either it may be a machine learning, artificial intelligence, cyber security, whatever it may be. But we should have some basic information, at least 20, 10 to 20 percent of information about one technology. Okay. So this is the main point we have to remember while attending for a digital interview, whatever technology it may be. So we have should have some knowledge about it. And we have, I mean, we should do that. Pro, we have to do any one or two projects in that technology. In, in that particular technology. Yeah, in that particular technology, we have to do the projects. Okay, okay. So anything yes, else yes. you want to mention here, uh, some specialization that one should go like uh, the students are now uh, starting their placements early and anything they yes. one should prepare, particularly uh, considering TCS digital profile in his or her mind. Yeah. First focus on one programming language rather than learning all three languages, whether it may be C, C++, Java or Python. First, fix one programming language and stick on to that. Whatever language you are comfortable, you can learn that language and uh, you can go deep dive into it. You can go learn advanced uh, section of that programming language. And coming to the technology part, after you are familiar with the programming language, then we can learn any one cutting edge technology like uh, full stack web development or uh, machine learning or artificial intelligence or any other one technology is sufficient. And it is better if you have done any certifications in this technology from Coursera, Udemy, 
that these are providing the certificates no even talent battle is uh, organizing the full stack development course it will also be sufficient so it is necessary to have a knowledge in one technologies okay okay so now summarizing the whole hiring process uh, basically so what was the actual uh, level of difficulty from actually registering uh, till the end of getting the results so how would you uh, give it uh, like yeah. from your perspective yeah, yeah it was the medium level difficult only that i mentioned before the results also will be shared very sooner and the offer letter if you are selected offer letter also will be released within a week so there will be no time wasting the hiring process and the hiring process will be very quick as quick as possible okay okay so anything else uh, any advices you want to mention here at the end uh, to your juniors also preparing for tcs and want to join us in digital digital role yeah yes we have to focus we have to give equal priority to the aptitude session and the coding session generally i find some of my juniors are giving only preference to either coding or either uh, aptitude part but it yes. won't happen there may be a chance of as yes, there be a section wise cut off we have to qualify both the sessions so equal priority must be given for the coding part and as well as the aptitude part that is the one most important tip i have to give in for my juniors and second important tip is we have to do certifications in any of the one cutting edge technology okay thanks manoj uh, for uh, sharing your valuable experience with us and hopefully our audience those who are preparing for tcs uh, will get something best today out of your interview experience like they will get uh, insight a slight insight basically about what is all going to happen although tcs has changed its hiring process from this year so we will be particularly uh, getting some new uh, hiring process but uh, i think uh, the basic uh, the online assessment round or the interviews or what they are going to ask uh, must remain common as usual so yes okay. so thanks once again uh, manoj uh, for being uh, here with us today and sharing your valuable experience Thank you, sir. I'd also take this opportunity to thank thanks Talent Battle for providing the wonderful live master sessions. As I have, because I learned the coding and actually part from the live master sessions conducted by the Talent Battle. Uh, thanks, Manoj. It thank motivates you. us uh, to give our best to upcoming batches as well. So thanks. thanks once again. Have a nice day, Manoj. We wish you best of luck for your future uh, endeavors. Uh, so. Uh, keep helping uh, your juniors keep motivating and keep spreading the knowledge that you have so thanks once again have a nice day thank you sir having us